Hi there, it's Catherine from Make Way for Tech, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily copy and paste our digital stickers right onto your students' assignments in Google Classroom. Now, I love digital stickers because it's a really easy way to give your students feedback on their assignments, as well as a way to keep them accountable and give them some reminders if they need to go back double check their work, maybe use their tools to complete their assignment, or even to see if they can add a little bit more to their work. When you're ready to use the stickers, you're gonna open up this Google Slides presentation that I have opened here. It has all of our stickers listed in the presentation. Then you're gonna open up the assignment that you wanna grade in Google Classroom. So you can see I have my measurement activity open and I have my digital stickers also in another tab at the top of the screen. Next, you're gonna click the two squares in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and then you're gonna click and drag the digital stickers tab to the outside so that it creates a split screen. Now, over on the left-hand side, I want my Google Classroom activity to be a little bit larger. So I'm gonna click hide a side panel at the bottom of that screen. And now you can see my assignment is bigger. So now I'm ready to copy and paste the stickers onto the assignment. So I can see that my student had a little difficulty with the question at the bottom of this assignment. So I'm going to go to this sticker set and I'm gonna click on think about it again and I'm gonna hit control C on my keyboard to copy. Then I'm gonna click on the assignment and I'll hit control V to paste. So you can see that my sticker now has been pasted. When I'm ready to go to my next student's work, I can just click the next arrow at the top of the screen. This time I'm gonna put the keep it up sticker on there. So I'll click on the sticker on the sticker page. I'm gonna hit control C on my keyboard for copy. Then I'm gonna click over on her work and I'll click control V to paste. Now I've made all of the stickers about the size that you're gonna want them. So you can keep them this size and you can just put them where it is you want them to go on the screen. Now this process will be the same for an activity in Google Slides or Google Drawings. If you're gonna use Google Docs, there are just a couple extra steps you have to take. So I'm gonna click on my biography assignment here Again, I'm going to click on this hide side panel at the bottom to make my screen a little bit bigger. I'm also going to click on suggesting mode and change it to editing. Now I'm ready to copy and paste the sticker that I want. So I'm going to click on amazing work on the sticker sheet. I'll hit control C to copy and then I'm going to click where I want it to go and hit control V to paste. Now I can put this on a separate line by simply clicking enter or I can click on the sticker and I can click wrap text below it and my sticker will be wrapped in my text. You can use these stickers throughout the piece of writing as well. If you have any questions at all about how to assign these stickers, please don't hesitate to ask me in the Q&A. And if you're interested in learning even more about Google Classroom or even how to create your own digital activities for your students, check out my step-by-step -step video course where I guide you through everything that you need to know about using Google with your students. So I'll walk you through creating those meaningful and engaging activities in Google Docs, Google Drawings, Google Slides. I'll show you how to customize your Google Classroom, how to keep it organized, how to grade assignments. I'll even show you how to get your students collaborating in their Google Drive, as well as how to create those self-grading assessments and exit tickets in Google Forms. So if you're interested in my course, check it out in my Make Way for Tech Teachers Pay Teachers store.